Okay. Okay. Um, in our project, we done is we inoculate bacteria into wastewater. We use 26 different kinds of bacteria to treat our wastewater to meet compliance in Singapore standard. So one of the tests we done to monitor the treatment of our progress is uh, COD. COD stands for oxygen, chemical oxygen demand. Because in wastewater, there are presence of organic pollutants. And so by measuring the amount of oxygen being used in the volume of water, we can roughly estimate the amount of organic pollutants inside. So we can see from the graph that we managed to reduce the COD from 17,000 down to below 500, which is acceptable level by Singapore PUB standard. Whereas without the inoculation of bacteria, we only managed to decrease it by 2,000, which is not acceptable. And also other tests we've done include the uh, microtox and phytotox. Microtox, in the microtox test, we expose the real fishery organism. It is a type of marine bioluminescence organism. So by exposing it to wastewater, we can measure, estimate the amount of toxicity in it because it emits light and we can test the light intensity of this organism. Um, we can see from this graph that the toxicity of the microtox test is decreasing constantly throughout the 21 days. And also, one of the tests we've done is phytotoxicity. We use Vasikarapa uh, uh, seeds, uh, Chinese Chai Sing seeds. So we placed 10 seeds, into a, 10 seeds into a petri dish, and then we subject the seeds to wastewater. And then we put the seeds in dark for 4 days. So at the end of the 4 days, we measure the amount, the percentage of seed germination. The higher the seed germination, it means the toxicity is low enough for the seeds to germinate. As we can see from the graph, in the first 15 days of our treatment, the wastewater is still too toxic for the seeds to germinate. However, after 15 days, the wastewater is less toxic enough for the seeds to germinate. We managed to bring the seed germination up from 0% to 70 to 80%. And finally, the last test we've done is a phenol test. Phenol test is a toxic compound found to contribute to wastewater toxicity. So, as similar to the first graph, with the inoculation of bacteria, we reduce it much more than without the inoculation of bacteria. So overall, the test we've done, the results shown that bacteria is doing its, uh, its way in reducing uh, contaminants in wastewater.